Welcome Colony to the 2021-22 school year and I'd like to give you a warm welcome and introduction to my classroom. My name is Mr. Mead and I teach a variety of classes here including robotics, digital media, broadcast journalism, and computer science. This year I'm also teaching an introduction to careers pathways course for freshmen. So I'd like you to understand first uh, how my classroom works and what some of the basic rules are. You'll notice here I have four uh, large tables. We can seat up to six students here very easily. Each student will have a stool. The stools go up and down and spin. Please notice the beautiful vinyl covers and that there are no pencil holes or any other damage to them. We like to keep it that way. The large tables are here primarily for the robotics classes. Um, but they also work great for computer science or any other work because sometimes it's just a little bit better to stand up and work when we've been sitting all day. These tables are specially designed, however, for when we're working on robots, such as these guys right here, um, uh, just some of the chassis and frames, sometimes it's easier to be able to move around and stand up while working on the, uh, uh, on the bot. You notice there are also some tape measures and some color strips on these. Uh, please don't pick at them. They are used for training on the robots, measuring parts and things. There is a tool tub that we have various tools, again, for the robotics class. Unless you're in robotics, please stay out of those. Each table has a TV on a stand. It's rolling. It can be moved around. Um, attached to it is a... Whoops, cord caught, but um, a uh, uh, little power module here. You can do wireless charging on a phone, USB, and um, uh, plug in computers if needed, and just make sure you turn the button on. And this is on a pretty long um, umbilical, so if you need to move it around the, uh, the table, that's fine. Each TV has two remote controls. Please leave the remote controls with the TVs. Most of them are labeled. Um, you'll simply need to choose HDMI 1 for the TV. The second little remote control operates this box up here so that you can plug in up to four computers. So if in, um, uh, we're doing collaborative writing or programming, um, we can see multiple screens on here or we can do one big screen for programmers, sometimes collaborate that way. And uh, we can all look at what the program is doing when we're doing group work. All right, let's take a look behind this TV. See, we have the chalkboards. Um, behind these chalkboards are tubs of parts for the robotics class. Um, the rule with robotics um, is if you need parts, you'll pull them out, you'll open it up, take what you need, and promptly return the box. There are six laptop computers in case you forget yours, or in some cases, we'll use two computers, such as in the robotics class and um, extra battery chargers for the computers, the laptops, uh, the Chromebooks as well. If you're not in robotics and you don't need a computer, please stay out of this cabinet. The cupboards underneath also have mostly robotics and other um, items of storage uh, uh, to store. Over here is a robotics uh, parts center. Um, we have aluminum channel, a tool chest, and a rolling cart with literally thousands of little pieces. No single piece has a great dollar value. However, all together, it's quite a lot. Please, no horseplay around this. Some playful pushing and wrestling around and someone were to knock this over, you'll be picking up and sorting thousands of little screws and other little parts for probably the next couple of weeks. If you're not in the robotics class, of course, please don't mess with this. It's uh, fairly well organized. We like to keep it that way. Again, more bins for robotics and other electronics. There is a, um, uh, we do have a couple of uh, larger tools here. Please do not play with these tools. And even if you do need them, they are for robotics. Again, um, you need to have me here when using it um, and, uh, uh, because they can be potentially dangerous. We do have a soldering station over here. And uh, you'll see is if I can a coffee stand here. You are welcome to contribute to the coffee uh, center here. No Folgers or Hills Brothers. We only use good quality coffee for us coffee snobs. This rack here are larger robotics parts. Please stay out of it unless you are using them for robotics. 
I also have four iMacs. These are really nice for programming or if you want a big screen. Um, they are on the internet, but they are not on the school network, so you won't get uh, your student folder on it. You will need to ask for the password, which I will freely give, that will just get you into the machine. Um, if you use the guest, uh, uh, the guest login, um, that's free to use, but just remember when you log out, everything will be removed. All right, um, this is the basics of my classroom. Uh, if you feel like you don't like sitting on the stools, please sit on the side um, where you can sit on the black chairs. But don't move the black chairs into here, it just looks goofy. Uh, we will be uh, doing assigned seating. Part of that is uh, so I can learn who you are. Part of that is for uh, COVID monitoring um, processes as well. So let's take a look at the next room. That's my computer lab.